Hello again. My name is uh, Giva Somena. This is uh, GML. And uh, this part, this second part of the show, we've introduced another guest, Tisa Moses. And of course, Natembea Kelvin is on the other side. Now let's begin. NASA, of course, uh, yesterday the Court of Appeal, you know, they ruled in favor of NASA as far as the, the verification of the presidential tallying as a tallying of votes is concerned. And of course, the park committee is going to vote and is going to determine whether Waiguru runs for governor in Kirinyaga or not. So she's hanging on the, on the edge. Moses Tisa, okay. welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Let's begin with you. Anu Waiguru is going to know whether he's going home or he's going to become the governor. What, is, what, are, what are your comments? Is, is she going to make? Three things are in, are in the public domain. Yeah. The sun, the moon, and the fact that Anu Waiguru is the next governor of Kenyaga. But how do you know? If Park, you know, they're going to vote, and maybe she's going to lose. You know, the Park, you know, the, the, the Gumbo led Park. I know the Park, the chairman of Gumbo, who was lost in CIA. But and he, I won't tell you the truth of the matter here, but this, this is Kenya. So you see, like, like they're going to, to vote Kenya, in favor? And uh, these guys are just wasting our time. They know who is going to win and who is going to lose. And one, Han Hanoi Guru has always been appearing before the PAC Gumbo led committee. But uh, if you've been following politics, other po fo following the proceedings of that committee, you will attest the fact that these guys are just wasting time. But at the end of the day, Kenyaga will have Hanoi Guru as the governor. That is the truth of the matter. Anwar Iguru was supposed to be stopped. Anwar Iguru left the office saying that she wanted a lighter job. And then she was allowed to vie. And of course, you see, if you invoke the uh, chapter 6 of the Constitution talking about uh, integrity and leadership, Anwar Iguru was not, 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 not supposed to vie in the first place, you see. But she ran for nomination and won. Now, what will stop her from winning this coming? This thing that we call Gumbo Park and what have you, these things are just to waste our time. I know if it is not in Kenya, or rather in a, in a country that holds democracy and, be, and, 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 and obeys democracy, and obeys the right of Wananchi, and serve the interests of the people, Anwar Guru should not even be the area MCA. But unfortunately in Kenya, you become a leader after embezzling our funds. You become a leader after finding... Natembe, Natembe, do you share, do you share this, the, same, this, the same thoughts? In fact, I would like to concur with him, not even a hundred percent, a thousand times percent. Why am I saying so? Because the Gumbos and the company, they have been there for a long time, but we have not seen them doing anything. So what they are trying to do, this one is just a gimmick, right? And somebody should tell Gumbo and his team that Kenyans now, they are well informed. But we we can distinguish green from blue. So another thing, what he has said, that once somebody has been to put into public domain, being uh, having a scandal, that's a way of doing publicity for free for that person. So let us not waste time. But the recommendations to Parliament is that Anwe Guru should not run because she was corrupt. Who is in Parliament? God, Jesus, or these thieves? <laughs> then, then, people! Way, you, you are forgetting something. Are you talking about part that one summoned, uh, summoned uh, uh, Ketima Murkomen who refused to go to uh, park? Are you talking about park that has never uh, uh, found anybody guilty? Are you talking about Park, the public account committee that we know. I'm telling you, if we're talking about park that was uh, given birth to yesterday, and maybe the person, the person who brought it uh, uh, here on earth is God, then you expect park to stop and, and from running. But if the park that I know, and will still run. I tell you this one for free. And will still run. What if, what if, you know, that committee, you know, they vote, you know, they vote against our Waigoro. What yeah. happens? What happens after that? They can't, and we should not even. How do you know they can't? You know, they have not because voted. You know, Kenya, unless you, I've been telling you, unless These you are people, living in the other side of the world, but if you have been a Kenyan, you know the truth. And Gumbo has been saying this, it is in public domain. She never supports Anu Waigoro. I love your concern, and in fact, I think you should be thinking the way you think. But unfortunately, that is not how we think. These people voted for Anwar Guru yesterday, so that tomorrow they, 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 they don't only confirm. This is how Kenya is run, my brother. Are you saying, are you saying all of a sudden Gumbo mm -hmm. is going to vote in favor of Anwar Guru? Are you saying they're going to be bribed and tomorrow? That, that, that is basically what happens. In fact, if it is, in fact, I think the best thing, Anne should not run for any public office. And Gumbo should find Anne, Gumbo's led team to find Anne culpable for many offenses in NYS. 
But unfortunately, this is Kenya. Where, when you are truthful and honest, that is when you go home. But if you are guilty, you are corrupt, you get office. In fact, I'm sure that uh, these people even voted for Anne even before they sat down. They were really keeping in something. mind that there was a time whereby Waiguru was cleared not only by the DCIO but even the office of the ESCC cleared her. So trying to say that Gumbos now they are going to pass the vote for no, even the IVC itself, before it could receive uh, the Waiguru's names to be one of the contestants, it would now push her away. But how comes now they accepted her? It means they have already cleared her. So let us not be so charitable. No. Let's take a scenario. Let's take a scenario whereby maybe Anway Guru is voted against and she loses that bid. You, do you see you know her going to court? You know, they consider saying you know you're never guilty until you know until proved. Until it is proved. Anything will happen. Of course, talking about Anne will be voted against and then she'll go to court. It can happen, yes. But again, I want us to believe in what to, to, to agree, agree in one thing. And one day, one time again, you call me and I, 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 will, I will confirm to you that Anne ran and won. Even if Anne goes to court after being voted out, if something happens so, Anne will still be on the ballot will win. and will win. That is basically, the people of, of Krenyaga are not interested in the past. somebody who can be able to change their life. But it's somebody who can be able to, I think, the person they can hear. It is about who is the most corrupt so that we can be able to award him or her with a public office. That is how can I play politics? But let's be fair, Natembe. Let's be fair. You know, Anway Goro is a performer. When he was, when she was there in that ministry devolution, you know, she she was able, you know, to do a lot of things. NYS, regardless of that, you know, scandal that came up, that it was unfortunate. It was a bad thing. Yeah. But let's be honest. Let's be fair. Mm -hmm. She's a performer. You see, you remind me what one Plato once said, the philosopher, the great philosopher. He said that the governance should not be let uh, to be in the hands of the jokers or people who are not serious. But unfortunately, as a nation, we really like, we are so obsessed with electing people who are so lethargic in terms of integrity. People who cannot really, who cannot take care, even of very small responsibility that we give to them. But those are the kind of the people we like. That's how politics, sometimes we get it wrong when we assume politicians, these are priests. And when we imagine that the parliament is like the St. Peter's Square in Vatican, whereby now priests are being ordained. No! Politics is there to, is, uh, parliament is there, is a reserve whereby big thieves are there. You see, that one is a den of thieves, uh, if so to say. So let us not try to try to sugarcoat issues here that we think there we win, we, we have to expect holy people to come. No. So there, uh, the Gumbos and his team, they cannot do anything. These are the people, remember even Gumbo himself, if he could not manage to, to get the certificate of ODM. But he's going to run as an independent. He's, he's, he's going to win. He's going to win. And, 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 and let me add something on top of that. Let us just be very honest here. Anne performed when she was in N I N Y S. The devolution ministry. Yeah, she, she, she performed. We saw what she did. But the one that caught the attention of the people is the loss of that sum of money. Millions of money got lost. And then what did Anne say? In she fact, was responsible. Not, 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 not only that. In fact, Anne said that she had a whistle blow earlier. You see, that I took these people to court, I, 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 I reported them and I thought they could be uh, taken home and uh, I, those are some And maybe it is true. And maybe it's, true. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's true. How do you know? Maybe Nobody it's knows. true. You don't know, I don't know. But one thing happened, that, that at long last, Anne's name was in the list of the sale of Shem. Of course, because she was and a minister. Very well. But not because she stole any, very, any money. Very well. Then Anne went home. In fact, Anne said that she wanted to go home because she was looking for a lot of what? Duty. This somebody who is sick under the instruction of her doctor. Now, tell me, the work of a governor... Hey, it wasn't doctor, it was Dr. Fueneke. Oh, there's no problem. Any, 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 any doctor, maybe her husband can be a doctor, you never know. But the big question we've been asking ourselves, now, the work of a governor compared to the work that, that, that Anne was doing, almost the same. Now, I don't think this was just but a way Anne wanted, wanted to escape and go and buy. But I, this is a warning maybe to my fellow Kenyans and the entire nation, so, 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 so to put it, that let us elect people depending on what they can do. And let us not elect thieves and we expect them. Because basically what they're saying, if you listen to somebody who must tell me that I don't like interact with them and I meet them, that Anne steals and shares with us. So you, that, that, that's how they say. She's a thief, yes, but she steals and shares She with brings us. the money to us. But then you look, if this is how we want to argue, when we are crying, when we are mourning seven, nine, two, 99 million, which I think is not even... It is a lot of it money. It was more. More. 
and the money got lost. And those people like Murkomen were uh, summoned to go and appear before the park. The guy could not go to the park, to the committee. In fact, she wouldn't. Gumbo, uh, Murkomen could still come and accuse the park at the same time. You see, he could not go there. So this thing that you are telling us that tomorrow they'll vote against the uh, Waiguru and what have you. These people voted yesterday, and or, or, or the, the voting is ongoing. And it will, will be cleared. But even if something happens okay. that Anne is cleared, is not cleared, they vote against us tomorrow. Yeah, Anne what happens? In court. You and give us on, our uh, court today. You see, give us. It's very simple. Unless we are talking about other parliaments from other countries. But if you are talking about this parliament that I know, it is rotten to the core, my friend. I beg to subscribe. But we know Gumbo. Gumbo has been a transparent man. You know, he has the will and the intention to fight corruption. But who surrounds Gumbo? His counterpart. Are you talking about the same MP who impeached a PLO Lomba because he was fighting corruption? Are you talking about I'm talking these MPs were there. Are you talking about the same MPs? In fact, if you look at Kenya today, <laughs> these MPs are not fighting corruption. But they fighting they are fighting who fights corruption. Exactly. You see? That's what they do. Yeah. And therefore this the, the, the same B people who said let me tell you the 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 the, 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 the state at which these people view Kenyans, we are fools according to these MPs, and, and we are clueless, clueless matters of leadership, of leadership and, and therefore we know nothing. But again, something very fun: the incompetence of our legislators is unparagoned, unparalleled, and unmatched, <laughs> and unprecedented. So that you cannot <laughs> tell me that tomorrow they will go there and say and go home because you are corrupt. That is a that, that is a an illusion which I don't think can happen in Kenya. So are you case. saying, are you guys saying that, you know, Anne is untouchable? Who is not, Anne? Not untouchable. She's the, just the way he has told you. We have to wait her to be sworn in as the governor of Kerenyaga, either you like it or not. Because regardless of what people are saying in the public domain, people at uh, the top brass in the Jubilee and inclusive also the electorate from Karenyaga, they know that this one is our own. So you guys, you just make noise. But come on 8th of August, let us let us take our person to become what? Our the person? governor. Exactly. That's, that's the person. kind of song that we are singing and we have to subscribe to it. And, and let me add something before you jump somewhere. You see, one thing very fun. If you check the race in Karenyaga, check uh, Mata Karua and check and Waiguru. These are the two people who are now on top yeah. and are running for the seat. Yeah. They would rather prefer Waiguru to Mata Karua. Simply because at one given time in life, Mata Karua said no to the king. No, but it's because, you know, they'd vote Anwai Guru because she's a performer. Yeah. No, 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 no. According Not to that, 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 that is the, the truth. But if you ask me what Anna has done in Kenya, again, you, you won't find. But then you see, Mata Karua is not a performer. Mata Kara was the former MP, the former MP of Gichu, exactly. and she performed. Go and check the records. But they won't vote him because Anne, uh, Mata, at one given time, said no. In, t in fact, teed on the king. And, and, what, Kenya, and she's that going to be punished. To the king is naked. He's not allowed that one in Kenya. So that's a, that's a punishment. That, that is punishment. why she became a rebel on the point when she what? said that the king was not was not eligible and to sleep in the state house. And do you know what? At one given point again, they say that oh, you see, okay, not, not by words, but Kenyans' words, that uh, Anwar Guru is very close, and they share so many things with the king. So this is a speculation, man. I'm saying that they say it. Not for me, Who but say it? of course, read news, sir. So that there's, there's, uh, there's a sense in, uh, in which Anne is viewed as being very close. Of course, they are close the because they, wo you know, they, they worked in the treasury well, together. Well, but who is Mata Karua today? The iron lady. Close. Iron lady. She's still the iron lady. Very close to who? But at one given point, we must put it, put it down and, and ask you some pertinent questions. Why did you paint the back of the king? She's going to tell us. And that's why she's going to fail. <laughs> what this space? Now, let's leave Anwe Guru alone. <laughs> you know? Now, let's talk about IBC versus NASA. What's wrong with this? You know, IBC had got to court, you know, to challenge, to challenge, you know, the, 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 you know that, you know, what, 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 the, the, what NASA want to do. You know, the, NASA had said they're going to, to verify, they're going to count and even announce to themselves the results, you know, at the constituency level. They're going to collect that, that data. And you know, even do the mathematics. But IBC is going to court again. And they lost. So like NASA has won. Mm -hmm. You know, these are, these are challenges. This, you know, is going to be 
such a big challenge to IBC? Because <coughs> if at all the results collected by the IBC are going to be different to, to the results, you know, you know, gathered by, by, by NASA. NASA and I will never accept those results. So is the problem? You know, it's going to be a challenge. We're going to have two results that are different. One from NASA and one from IBC. Because remember, in the Kenyan constitution, public is so powerful. So even what the IBC is doing is not doing its own job. It's doing that job on behalf of the Kenyans. And if Kenyans, remember the, all these agencies, they are there to represent the interest to propel and uh, to propel and also defend the interest of the Kenyans. So if the judiciary decided that it was well to, de to, to announce the presidential elections at the constituency level, I'm sure it had done its assignment and it knew where, why it thought it was right. So I think we should have to respect it for the first time. Although Kenyans, uh, when it comes now to respecting this agency, the government agencies, we get it very hard. But for the first time, let us try to respect it because also the IBC it must make sure that it remains with the software of integrity. So, so whereby, whichever decision that will be decided come on 8th of August, it will be there to favor the Wanjiko, but not to favor a few individuals. So let us just go with the ruling of the, of the judiciary because of the rule of law. That's what now the Constitution of Kenya stipulates. You know, Tisa, look, 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 it, look, look, look it uh, this way. If NASA are going to know, you know, NASA is, all of them are politicians. Are we going to believe whatever the results, you know, the NASA are going to have? You see, my brother, Jubilee government is suffering from what I call selective amnesia. When it's about NASA, the problem comes in. If it's about them, there's no problem. If it's about NASA, NASA has contravened the constitution. If it's about them, there's no problem. But remember in Jubilee have never said they're going to yes, do that. Me. Remember in 2013, Jubilee had a parallel tunneling station at Harper, at, at Harper Hill. Nobody challenged them. And what NASA is trying to bring home, NASA has not said that we will declare ourselves winners. But they're saying we only want to counter check. We want to, we, we want to. in fact, it is like they want to have a parallel tunneling center to check or to counter check what, you, what IBC does so that one plus one here remains one plus one this, this side. It is two this side, it is two this side. That is what you believe is, 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 is afraid of. And remember, when this thing came into the limelight, now Jubilee bloggers plus their own chores or the praise and worship team, they said, fine, these guys are now trying to give back to war. And therefore, what we want to do, they, they must be stopped. But what did IBC do? The IBC, within the constitution, they gave NASA power and other political parties power to have their parliament said so long as they won't announce the word the result what they'll do is tallying that they what they can they confirm have, yeah confirmation what they have is in tandem with what IDC has what if those results are different that what is, if those results are that's different that's why we have got tallying parliament so that we don't have different sal what if we have different? What will we happen? We won't have because we, we have parallel telling. We will because these are politicians. NASA, NASA is not IBC. They are politicians. They will do. They will. They will have different results so that they can challenge IBC. So that we know they can go to Supreme Court. Ten, you know, ten thousand, ten, ten million plus, plus is real, and that's why you can see the government is tensing, and that's why the government is doing what all they can do to ensure that they, they frustrate NASA. Let me tell you this, brother. In Article One Thirty Eight of the Kenyan Constitution. It gives, in fact, and it, it says, and the election shall be done at the constituency level. Telling be done there and the uh, What and if the returning this officers is, are bribed this is by what, the same NASA? That is, in fact, uh, that is what we say, uh, uh, a limping, a limping perception. Of course, NASA cannot bribe anybody. They are, they, they, they are concerned with the free, fair, and credible elections. But they have been rigging elections down here in Nyanza. In fact, it was NASA, the, the way you are saying, but we are now talking about presidential election. What happened in, at the county level, my friend, you can't ask Jamonga and his groups. But we, 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 we are now talking about Raila and NASA facing Uru Jubilee. And uh, Raila did not have nomination. Of course, they had among the five of them, and it was very fair, fair and fair. Raila might have win. So what we are trying to say is that within that NASA is acting in within the confines of the constitution, so that when we say we want election to be uh, everything to be done at the constitution level, that is basically what we want. And I find that a little bit uh, threatening, it threatened, it threatened uh, my uh, common sense 
when IBC again goes to court and challenge the what? The ruling. It seems even that there is something behind it. But they are, is, it is, they are free to do so. They are free to do so, but are they invoking the constitution? Are they in tandem with Article 138 of the constitution? What are they doing? And to, you have just put right, right that uh, the court has ruled in favor of what? Of NASA. And this one, I, I, I'll remind you. NASA is made up of tyranny of brains. That's but tyranny of numbers is what matters in Tembea. Yes. If you can have brains and not numbers, you never, you never, you never, you never, never win. Okay. You never we win. About, we it's about vote. You see, to jump in, we have now to look at these issues as sober people. Because just from what you have said, that this possibility also, the NASA brigade could also manipulate the votes. So as now to have a chance to blame what? To blame the, the IBC. IBC. So here tells me, okay, from what he has said, I like the way he has quoted an article of the Kenyan constitution. But I think the same same constitution says it's very clear that the presidential election should be announced by the chairman of, of the, the IBC. IBC. Exactly. <laughs> this is Chebu Kati. Exactly. <laughs> you know, Natembea, Natembea. Okay. He's saying, you know, in like ODM or NASA, he's 10 million strong. Mm -hmm. And the other day, Uru Kenyatta said, you know, he's... 45 million stroke. Why are you leaving the other 30 million or 35 million? You see, are you saying that when Raila Odinga wins elections, mm -hmm. he's going to serve 10 million people and only? In fact, I had completed my statement. I was explaining, I was trying to dissect a very important issue. I was saying that the same constitution says that the presidential elections should be announced but none other but who? IBC. By the chair of the IBC. So when you talk about the presidential level whereby the, the announcement should be announced at those levels and the, the sittings of the chair should be at the headquarters and I think it should be in the Catholic University of East Africa if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. So now here those who are trying to argue with the movement of the NASA they are saying okay it should be announced at the constituency level but here the chair should be the one to announce the official results Actually, and anybody who announces different re presidential mm -hmm. results mm -hmm. it's not it's, it's not you know exactly. it's I not valid. I, I would love I would, I would, the one who was talking, I would love that we argue from Katiba point of view. My friend, I would love us to go and check that that, 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 that it very well. Read Pakachini, Google it, you read. You see, uh, your point is very clear. You are saying that uh, Uru is saying that, President Uru is saying that uh, 45 million strong. And NASA is talking about 10. So 10 million. NASA is going to serve 10, 10, 10 million while Uru is going to serve 45. But then there's something you've, you've forgotten, seriously. How many people are registered? About 19 million. That is why we are saying we have 10 million people will vote for NASA. No, while no, nine. Jump on that. You jump see? on that. <laughs> let's take a short break. Let's, let's take a short break. <laughs> let's take a short break and then we continue with our discussion. Okay, fine. After the break. <laughs>